I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful.
it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? 
The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President, many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized.
please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Thanks. Don't stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Shut up on your knees. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. Let's get it taken loose. There are soldiers but everywhere. We, are we need to be careful. Finished. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got order to check all civilians. No. No. Please.
Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. <laughs>